City Kickboxing. Yeah. We train in New Zealand's finest gym. <laughs> the world's best One gym. of the world's best gym, yeah. right? I mean, there's obviously some yeah. great gyms out there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. You go, like... I can't think of any, but uh, I'm sure there's great gyms out there. But one of the one of the top five, at least in the world, yeah. we got City Kickboxing for sure in New Zealand, Auckland, well, New Zealand. Privilege to even have the opportunity. Yeah, to it's like I like I'm, I'm I'm shocked that we're allowed to just go there and train yeah. with these greats. Yeah, yeah, just be around them. Yeah, and it was it was yeah. I I it tripped me out a little. Like I was like, man, I'm here. Like I'm 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 in these four. Wall, I'm in these walls on these the mats beds. when you're standing on the yeah. mats man it's just that feeling yeah. of like, like wow I, and this is whenever whenever i step on those mats i, I touch the mat because it's like there's so much blood and sweat tears that legendary was by, hours yeah, spent on that exactly those mats, yeah the legends that have stepped foot not 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 from the ones that we know now like from doug viney Eugene yeah. bam yeah. these guys are on there you know what i mean yeah and like obviously come down to all the other fighters yeah. you know like Obviously, Israel, Kai, Dan, Brad, Diddy, Diddy all the up and coming yeah. killers, like yeah. all these greatness now, now. on this yeah, mat, yeah. and we're standing on, and yeah. you get that, the privilege, and it's just a privilege, yeah. you know what I mean? And the, the opportunity to, to, to stand on this mat. In, yeah. Yeah. Amongst them, train amongst, amongst them. Exactly. We amongst see them. them, we're training with them, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and you know, it's and, great. And to get the knowledge from the guys that made these fighters yeah you know like we got eugene berman yeah we got doug viney yeah you know? frank hickman's there about doing frank, the wrestling. Yeah, and frank but he's not necessarily too. uh the guy that coaches everyone he does specifically yeah, yeah, the yeah, fighters yeah. right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. shout out but he does he does the wrestling class and yeah shout out to frank hickman and shout out to uh bang tao in bangkok yeah, yeah. Uh, when we go to thailand we need to go yeah, there for sure we definitely yeah, gotta yeah. go there but yeah shout out to frank hickman yeah I haven't done any wrestling classes because my shoulders fucked. Does he do the? I haven't done wrestling, but does he do wrestling classes there? Yeah, he does the wrestling classes. But so, you know, after our kick fit, yeah, he, that's why he's sweeping the mats because he's doing the wrestling class. But yeah, but that's I that's always thought. I always thought, oh, just anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah you oh, can do okay, too. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I didn't know. I thought he was it. specifically there for the fighters. Nah, he he does the wrestling for fighters as well. Yeah. He does that. I think for uh, the guys on the mats that want to wrestling yeah. when he's here. Yeah, because yeah. most times he's either there, he's either in the states helping the boys. Yeah, or UFC or he's back in Bangtan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what Bangtown. I what I wanted to do with this one is, let's talk about what it's like for the average person, right? Well, not necessarily average, but what it's like for who's for anyone to train at City Kickboxing yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, for us, we're not obviously UFC fighters. We're no, not we're, even we're, King we're, of the Ring we're, fighters. We're yeah, I'm we're not nothing. even a fighter yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't even consider myself a fighter yet. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. And um, what it's like for us. So yeah. they, they've got, this is all public information. We're not like, you know, leak, yeah, yeah, yeah. leaking no, knowledge over here. It's yeah. all public. Um, they have these classes. They got kick fit, kick tech, kick yeah. circuit and boxing, all this stuff. The boxing classes. Yeah, boxing classes, wrestling, jiu-jitsu yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. They have all of it. Most like, of yeah. which I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> but what we, I normally do is kick fit and kick tech generally. Yeah. So kick fit is on Monday, Tuesday, when, oh no, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays. Yeah. At 5.30 p.m. And it's basically cardio kickboxing classes with crazy drills that yeah, we do. Yeah. And and whenever whenever it's not Eugene that's teaching us those drills, yeah. it's just the it's like not necessarily easy combinations, but combinations that flow so quickly yeah. where they kill you basically. Yeah, yeah. It's just like two three two kick and yeah. two three two <laughs> like the one we did with blood. The one we did with blood diamond recently it was 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 insane. <laughs> it was it was yeah, but we just kept trolling him in the way. Yeah. Was like, He's taking a break. You know? <laughs> like I was yeah. and I wasn't throwing the knee and the kick yeah, fast yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's why he's got so much energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, hey, I held the plank for nine minutes the night before. Fuck yeah. that. <laughs> but um yeah, uh so we got that. But whenever Eugene okay, we're not gonna tell what Eugene teaches us, obviously maybe he yeah, doesn't yeah. want that out yeah. there. But whenever but it's more technical whenever bro. Eugene does kick fit, it's supposed to be a cardio kickboxing class in a way, yeah. right? Uh, but whenever I, it, I wouldn't say so. It, 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 it basically so? it is that is the description of it though. It's like a cardio kickbox. It's to build your your cardio. Yeah. Um it's supposed to be that whenever Eugene does it, he does it where it's very technical. Yeah. But then you have to increase the tempo and make it fast. Yeah. But like, it's very, very tech. It's like yeah, a real fight. I, I, I like it. I, I like, like it when, when he, he does, does it. it. I yeah. love it when he does it, obviously. Because uh, and, and it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Those techniques that make sense that you could use in a fight. You know, how he, you know, he makes you like, uh, move across and then go in, you know? Yeah, yeah. Throw yeah. your one, two, in and out. And yeah. Then move to the side. S- step aside, you know, yeah. Step aside, step yeah, to the other yeah. side. And the recent yeah. ones, um, Fuck it, what to say? It's I mean, working your yeah. footwork. You know? Yeah, working your footwork, switching your stances, mid yeah. combos, yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Drills like that, he, he teaches us a lot, and uh, he does head movement as well. He always, I don't know if you've, if you've done the ones where it's, it's. Uh, yeah, we did the head movement. We did the head, yeah, counters. we did, yeah, counters, yeah. stuff like that. That most others, other coaches, when we do kick fit, 
the cardio kick yeah. one, boxing one, they don't teach us, they don't make you do that. Yeah, they, they don't the go to technique, tempo. they keep yeah. you basic and they make keep, sure you do, just build your cardio. Build and your just, cardio, yeah. Just, just exhaust do basics, you, you know, do the basics. It's too. to exhaust you, it's just to make you tired. <coughs> and then kick tech instead of kickboxing. That class is where they teach you fight drills. Right. They There's no tempo, there's, there is time, but there's no, all right, guys, hurry up, let's go, keep going, keep going. Yeah, there's yeah. none of that shit. It's just... Do it at your own pace, do it at the speed you want, but make sure you, you're, you're perfecting the technique of yeah. it. When you throw your kick, make sure you, you're pushing your hips into it and it's coming back in your stance or whatnot. Yeah. Stuff like that, they teach you and they, they keep an eye out as well. Because I mean, there's so many people training, but they keep an eye and they look around. And I remember when I did a few, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't, I think I wasn't throwing my knees correctly. Yeah. Uh, the way they teach, or maybe I shouldn't say, but whatever. The way they say it is you want, always want to protect yourself by, by, Putting your hand on your opponent's neck and then throwing your knee, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, so that you're covering your face and, yeah. and, and stuff like that, and your knee kind of covers your ribs. Yeah. But when I was throwing my knee, I had my hands here and I was throwing the knee, and then uh, he was like, "Don't do that," because he yeah. can just literally counter you and just punch yeah. you straight in the yeah. face, and stuff like that. They were teaching in kick tech, and then they obviously got the wrestling classes. They got yeah. jujitsu, yeah, which I've never done. So I've been there. For yeah, I think the nogi now. nogi classes is on like yeah. Tuesday and Saturday. I think. I think I can't we remember. can pull it up on on Google. Yeah, but um. You know City Kickboxing is such an amazing gym when their yeah. website is shit. Man, the wealth of knowledge that's yeah. in that gym is unreal, you know. And yeah. it's just yeah, just a blessing and a privilege to be able to train at that gym and learn yeah. and learn and for, learn from the, all these guys that think, are there. Think about know? this. For like thirty dollars, right? For thirty dollars New Zealand dollars a week, you get to surround yourself with the some of the greatest. You yeah. see Israel Adesanya training. Yeah. I did, I was warming up the other day and I'm I'm looking in the ring, right? And I'm seeing Carlos Alberg sparring Israel Adesanya in front of me. People pay to watch these guys yeah. fight. I'm just there, you know, stretching yeah. out, warming up, just yeah. like just flowing a little bit. I'm seeing Izzy fainting and yeah, doing yeah, all yeah. that shit. Right? It, was, it was fucking gangster, yeah. man. And and that's what I mean, and, like man. It's... And and the thing is, we're obviously very respectful as well, right? Yeah, we're, you have we're, to be, yeah, yeah it like be. I when I I've seen Israel at the science so many times now, but I I and I get a little bit like starstruck sometimes, right? Yeah. It's like oh shit, it's that guy that knocked out <laughs> Robert Whitaker that yeah, knocked yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I mean? That fought all these guys. Yeah. I guess, that, but I've never ran up to him and be like, oh shit, Izzy, what's up, yeah, man? Yeah, like, I've course, never yeah. done that. I've only had one interaction with him. He was coming down the stairs. I was going up and I didn't know he was there, obviously. I'm going up. I look up and he's coming down. I'm like, oh shit. And I just said, yeah. oh, hey, bro, or something like that. And he yeah. said, hey, what's up? And that was the only yeah. interaction I had. And other than that, we, and I don't know, people that might watch this, because this is going to be a clip on YouTube, right? So people yeah. that might watch this might just be like, oh, we can go to City Kickboxing nah, and meet nah, these celebrities. Nah. Don't nah. do that. Don't, don't, don't ever do, do that. Do not do that. Do not just pull out City Kickboxing just to like, just to go and oh, meet yeah, the celebrities. Just to be yeah. a fan, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, not what yeah. it's about. You're dead to You're train. You're dead to train and yeah. learn. And you see these guys, give them, the res- give them respect. Yeah, give them their space this is as well. their space. This is yeah. their, their place to where work. they come to work. You know what I mean? Like, you're not there, they're yeah. not there to like fucking sign your autograph. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That's not what they're there for. So you gotta respect that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've seen Izzy like on many occasions outside yeah. before I even joined CK Boxing. Like yeah. obviously I used to work at I'm a, I was a chef at Dr. Rudy's. Yeah. So I used to come at Rudy's all the time. So I was starstruck from there and afterwards like I wasn't so starstruck like not not like not that I'm not starstruck, mm-hmm. but like it's like I'm kinda like nah. You, you recognize the guy, you already yeah, know you've seen person, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and this I wanna say this, I never I haven't said this before, but um it's a testament to who Izzy is as a person, you know what I mean? Like, when he, after the Kevin Gaston fight, he came back, he won the belt, he came back, and uh, he came to Rudy's, and I was like, I told the waitress, like, go ask him, like, what he wants, I'll send, send whatever to his table. Mm. I'll send some food to his table, like, on the house for me, just yeah. as a congratulations, you know, for the fight yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And he told waitress that he just ate, he'll, he'll uh, but he tells chef, thank you, I'll come see him, you know, say hi, whatever, and I was yeah. like, oh, that's all good. Yeah. The, wait- the waitress came and told me back. And told me that yeah he'll come see you later. I was like yeah that's all good. That's I didn't cool. think much of it. I didn't think yeah. he's gonna come. Like you know he's doing his thing. He's celebrating. He's just yeah. what, bro. An hour and a half later, he still remember and he ex- he came up to yeah. the kitchen and talked to me. Yeah, yeah. This man was like he was enjoying. He's having a good times, having drinks and that. The yeah. fact that it was still in his mind that I need yeah. to go see the chef and like talk and not just say thank you. He came and said thank you and also spent time like took like ten minutes to talk to me, ask me like yeah. ask me about me like yeah. what I'm doing and. Yeah. You know, like how long I've been working as a chef and shit like that. Like that man. Yeah. That just shows you how how he is as a person. That's a real, you real. Know? That's what that's what champions should be, right? They yeah. should be real down to earth. Like it's yeah, it's that, not yeah. like he doesn't take the like you know how some people get get caught up in that. Oh yeah, I'm the champion. Oh, oh, yeah, my yeah. status. Um, mm. this and that. Nah, he's so 
normal like yeah. I was calling him Israel and he's like just call me Izzy I was like yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> but yeah because you know like I was a bit starstruck at then yeah. but now now every time I see him in, in the gym it's more like I see Israel for uh, I see him as Izzy you know yeah, I, mean? I yeah. see him as him and now I see him as like man I want to learn see what I can learn from yeah, him exactly. just from watching yeah, just watch him just watch yeah, him exactly. and I don't go up to him have got, you know I'm passing my hey what's up bro like, yeah, you know, yeah. Later, bro, yeah. you know like stuff like that but it's because I have to give them the respect, you know, yeah. give them the respect. This is their, and that's the thing. We, we are aware of this. A lot of people won't be. Yeah, yeah. This is their space. This exactly. is their working area. When you see them outside, that's yeah. different. That's yeah. different. You can approach them like, yeah. oh, you can go bang all over them. <laughs> yeah, want to, yeah, like, oh. yeah. But, but the reason we're saying this is so that, because we're obviously promoting Putting it on boxing. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't come to City Kickboxing just because you want to see these, these stars. Yeah, yeah. Because in there, they're not a star. Like Eugene says, you're a piece of shit you're just like everyone the, else. Just, yeah, Eugene yeah, says. Just like me, I'm a piece of shit too. Yeah, you're you know? a piece of shit. In here, you're a piece of shit just, just like, like everyone, everyone else. No, I don't care yeah. how much money you have. Don't care what exactly. belt you got. You're just exactly. a piece so of shit. So don't come there because we said it. Now you yeah. come there like, oh, we want to we wanna see Daniel or we want to see this yeah, and that. Like, no. Yeah. No, that's not what that's that. Yeah. Your dad at work, you see them. Yeah, if you see them in passing, you can be like, hey, what's up, whatever. You yeah. Know? Give some respect, but yeah, yeah don't fuck, yeah. don't go there like sneaky, yeah. taking pictures and shit. Like, yeah, don't do I don't even, shit. I don't take my phone with me on the Yeah, I don't either. I put my phone in the <clears throat> locker upstairs and I, I just keep my phone in my bag, but I never take it up. Yeah. And like video and shit. Video like anyone, yeah. I, I, I feel, I feel so hesitant to just bring my camera. I don't know, like, because yeah. it's such a... Because you think about it, right? City Kickboxing, how many incredible fighters, like well-known fighters are from there? You got Dan Hooker, Brad Riddell, yeah. Shane Young, fucking um, Carlos, you got yeah. Israel Adesanya, yeah. you know, seven-time defending middleweight champion, yeah. six-time, I think, or seven-time or whatever, defending middleweight champion of the world. You got you got other other crazy, you got boxers from there, you got... Yeah, you got Hemi, we got Junior Fa. Junior Fa. There's so many fucking, other boxers coming out, and, and uh, Roman Viney. Yeah, yeah Roman Viney's like up, up and coming. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Doug Viney's son. Doug Viney's son. Yeah. yeah, you got Navajo Sterling. Clearly, future yeah. future UFC uh, light Yo, Kai heavyweight Kai champion. Kai Kara, Kai, Kai yeah. man. Oh, we got fucking Kai Kara yeah. France in there. Bro. <laughs> Kai Kara France is walking around, bro. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, he's a fucking fireworks. Yeah, man. every time I see Kai, I'm like, damn, bro. Like that's that guy. Like, man, this yeah. is that guy. Bro. I know. This is a yeah. fucking savage right here, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He's this this guy like this is the guy that beat Ashka Eskarov. You know? yeah, like, he's right here. He knocked out <laughs> Cody. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> knocked out Cody Garbrandt. Yeah. He fought Brandon Moreno. Fucking rocked the shit out of Brandon Moreno. Was destroying Brandon. Let's yeah, be he honest. was destroying. Yeah, yeah he just he got, got caught. caught. Which happens in fights. It's yeah, a fight game. You get caught. Is, yeah. But don't get it twisted. He was fucking Brandon up. Yeah. Brandon's face was all yeah, battered, was, man. Yeah. He got him, bro. But yeah. yeah. Like it's so yeah. crazy seeing these guys in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Blood Diamond, you got fucking blood in there. Blood yeah, 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 sure. Jenna Fabian too. Yeah, like you know, Jenna. Man, there's so many, man. There's so, so many. There's so it's many. Just, everywhere you look, there's there's popular fighters, and yeah. then there's fighters that are demons. no one knows. Yeah, people demons. don't know them yet. Kevin you know, Jusay. Um, yeah. What's the smiling assassin? Uh, Adam Cook. Adam Cook. You got. So many, you know, man. John Vake, you got James Vake. You, yeah, exactly. You know, like you got Diddy. Yeah, who just Diddy, yeah, exactly. You know, they're not in the local scene, but man, yeah. these guys are killers. They're coming Real up. Real killers, they're coming man. Like yeah. once, we're just waiting for their light. They're to waiting shine. for their time when their yeah. light shines on them. People, the world doesn't know, man. Like yeah. there's fucking killers coming that they're not ready for. They're not ready <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like look at Diddy, man. Like fuck. They, they don't speaking, even know. Like, speaking of Diddy, we'll yeah. talk about Diddy's fight yeah. now. He fought Corin. In my hair, I think is his name. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm not messing Corin. Yeah, name I up. think I'm gonna mess his last name. Up. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but Corin, Corin is a definitely a decorated fighter as well himself. He's a champion. 